how did you know straight yeah, away? Yeah. How did you know? What, with, with Ida? Ida? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Um, there was a moment that we both had that in hindsight, I realized that we both looked at each other and fell instantly in love and knew that we'd known each other forever. But I had made, I had one commandment for my life, which was thou will not get married and have kids. Wow. And that was just, you know, it was just not going to happen. And I thought I was doing a sane thing just because of my makeup. And I know that um, what's expected of you in a relationship, and I was just thinking, I can't do this. I can't look after myself, so how am I going to look after kids? And I can't keep it in my pants, so how am I going to have a monogamous, I can't even even say it, <laughs> a monogamy <laughs> relationship. Um, so Ida came into my life on a blind date, and we had this moment, but we broke up three times. I finished with her three times because, like, I was in love, but I'd made this commandment, and it was, I, you know, it was like, why are you falling in love with me? That makes you mental. Uh, and you're willing to bet on me to be able to do this thing? My God, you must be crazy. Um, but then the third time of breaking up, I just had a light switch moment one evening. And um, I went back to her house, I was in out in Los Angeles, and I, it was a light switch moment. I was out having a meal, and just was like, I've got to marry her. <laughs> and went back, and <laughs> but, then, but then we've been together since, and um, yeah, I've managed to be the person that I'm supposed to be and want to be, and um, yeah, and my life is so much better for it. I have purpose, I am loved, I'm in love, um, we're a team. She's unique. She's so, I mean, like, you know, we've got to the point now where I'll be at home and she'll know what I'm doing. And I'm sort of like, we'll be watching the television and I'll just go like that. And she went, she'll go, her? You've slept with her? <laughs> and then I have to Google that person and show what she looked like <laughs> in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, but 15 years ago, she looked like this. <laughs> you know, so we have a, a unique relationship. Uh, you and your missus? Yes. Was that a blind date or was what was that? No, it was we'd known each other for many, many years and then it just became a something of I was, a, I was away and just missed her a lot. And then, st and then she uh, proposed to me. So I'd been away for work, came back and was on the plane, uh, got back off the plane and she had put together a uh, painting made up of a whole bunch of little stamps with birds on them because I'm a bird nerd mm -hmm. that said marry me so it was like a gift and I unwrapped it and it had marry me written on there and I looked at her and she said well will you and she just started laughing and mm. I started laughing and I said well you have to ask properly and so she's well, 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 yeah. and she couldn't did get that, through it without did that laughing. Did emasculate you in any way? <laughs> no it was fantastic and she how's this? Right. How's this? So she then in in being such an empowering female as she is called my mother to ask permission wow huh wow. She's such so then a I, ca I called mum when i got off the plane and said hey i'm back off the plane and she said oh have you spoken to taz yet i said no and she goes well, just, where'd that's you get a great home? way to do and it and then call you and i was like what call, talk to me now and so that's why and, uh, right okay so I do had to be so slowly, slowly catching monkey with me. <laughs> <laughs> I just was not going to get married. Sure. And um, yeah, even even the even the proposal wasn't very romantic. If I could do it, if I if I know if I knew what I know now, yep. who I am, how I can be, what we are together, what we uh, you know. It, I do it a lot differently. I genuinely thought that m by me proposing was me getting on the Titanic. Yeah, right. It was like, I'll do this, but we're going to hit an iceberg and we'll all die. So that's how it, that was the, the kind of. But you're on bended knee when you say it, though. Yeah, but yeah. that was kind of the energy that I was going in. I was like, I know this is expected of me, but I know I don't want to do it, you know, because I just didn't rate my chances very much. But. I'm going to have to do it all again with her, this time go in properly. And um, yeah, it, it, 
it because then we I did we get engaged we did get engaged, and then she sort of like a week later her best mate gave us some like wedding magazines, and she brought them home and she put them next to the bed oh and, I was, and I was genuinely like, what's that? <laughs> 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 well, they're they're wedding mag. Hey hey hey, you've got the ring, <laughs> <laughs> and I was genuinely like that. Sure. I was like, hey, listen. You've you've got the ring. What are they? Wha- what what you doing with them? <laughs> well, we just got engaged, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> but that was it's just my fear. Yeah. You know, it was my fear that um, I was going to mess everything up. I know it sounds horrible and incredibly unromantic, and I suppose it was. But you know, there was a reason for all that. I just didn't think that I was capable of doing the thing that was supposed was going to be asked of me uh, to this creature who's incredible and loving and kind and honest and funny you know and unique but um that's why we're together and i i'm just i'm talking it through you know